Welcome back, everybody, to your favorite day of the week. I told you she would say no. You won that bet. That's how it happens. Guess who doesn't say no? Huh? Me. Guess Why who, when you? they say no, gets told yes? Me. You. I'm like, no, I don't think so. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. You are. You are going to do it. I'm like, oh, I, don't, I don't want to. You asked me if I wanted sorry. to. I'm like, every, no. every time she says no, you say, I'm sorry? Yeah, it's a trick. I don't, I don't think I heard this you is, right. This is combo right here. This is, is for all married people and Absolutely. or daters, right? Mm-hmm. If you live with somebody. There's not really a question. Like, it's not really like an option. Like, when they say, hey, would you do this for me? You don't really have like, it's not really would you. It's like, hey, do this. But we're taking right. it and we're going to rephrase it. We're going to repackage it, right? It's yeah. the same shoes from two years ago, but a new box. Right. We're just repackaging this yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's, you know it's, I mean? They're just putting it's the political. Forward. It's political correctness within matrimony. No, it's, it's a trick. That's a fuel just because sometimes I'm like, I'm like, well, I have a choice, so I'm gonna say no. I'm like, no, no. I don't think so. No, I'm watching something. Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah, really? <laughs> you're gonna, it's that's what you're, you're not, you're gonna say that. I'm you're like, you asked calls. me if I wanted to do it, and yeah. I said I don't want to do it today. Like, not today. Today's my day to lounge, you know? It's always today's the day. The day to today's the day I say no. Maybe a day I but in a, in a relationship, remember this. Just like when you're meeting your, your when you're flirting when you're a kid. Yeah. No means yes, and yes means no. Very true. You know, you know there's I mean? an old phrase that says that uh, hindsight is fifty fifty, but in a mm-hmm. marriage, hindsight is one hundred percent. Yeah. But it's not in your favor, right? Because like nope. you said, it's it's posed in the form of a question. Why? But there's Why actually do a that? command within the question. Mm-hmm. And it's probably easier just to say, hey, do it. But I guess it's just the nicety. But, no, yeah. but she made a point when I asked her. I said, hey, because I brought it up. Yeah. You know, I was like, confrontational. Let's do this. Mm. I need to know. Firm? Okay? Sometimes you get, hey, listen. Sometimes you got to go there. Okay? You got to okay. say, hey, I got something to say. You might not like it. Mm. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about okay? it. I forgot what we were talking about. I started. I went on that tangent. Can you remind yeah. me again? Uh, what, what you, were, were you, you were basically you were putting your foot down. You were, you were in the you were in the process of putting your foot down about about her asking a question, but it, oh yes, in the form yes. of a command. Yeah. I say because sometimes you got to do this. See, I, I pay said, attention listen, to you. I, I appreciate that. I pay yes. attention to you. You freshly shaved. Uh, you freshly you. shaved. You look <laughs> good. Um, I say, hey. Why, why did you ask me if I wanted to do it? Mm-hmm. If when I said no, thank you, you got mad. Yeah, I was like, I don't. I was like, is there really an option? She said, Well, would you rather me say, Hey, do this, mm-hmm. or would you like me to give you the the, the fake option <laughs> that you made the choice? You made this choice, Joe. Hey, you want to do this? Absolutely. Emphasis. Thank you, babe. Yeah. Thank you, babe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's just having to accept that, even at 39. It's a lot. It's hard. It's a lot. I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm still going to have those days where I say, nah. Sure. Because I know it doesn't you make have a damn difference. difference. Well, the thing is, you know, you're, you're well within your right you know? to say no. But does that make uh, you right? You know, I mean, it's, it's not it's not my what's called. You know, what I mean, like, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's not my reality. Hey, those are the things that make you say, hmm. hmm. Well, I mean, speaking of, I don't get to experience anything at thirty nine years old anymore. Gay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just Why kidding. is that, Pat? Why is that? Because, Why not? Uh, last Friday, well, it'd be two Fridays when this airs. No. Uh, I turned forty years old. Lordy, Lordy, Patrick's 40. Over that yeah. hump. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. The Patrick. Yep. Yeah. 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 Best so we had a good time. Celebrate. Yeah, celebrate yeah. your 40th birthday is going to a barcade and drinking yes. a lot and Absolutely. playing True. video games and yep. 
I got to tell you. Topping it off with some karaoke. Good food and karaoke. Let me tell you. You know what the best thing about going to your friend's 40th at a barcade and drinking a lot of beers? What's that? Arno? When mm-hmm. his girlfriend says, they're on me. I'm like, oh, that's the <laughs> oh, best part of it. Oh, my that's said, my God. Part. She said that. Absolutely. She goes, hey. She said, there's yeah. a tap. She said, put it on my name. I said, we'll pay for it. She goes, no. No. Put it on there. And then yeah, I don't really yeah, argue yeah, with I, her. I mean, she's I, not one that she's not one that I like to argue with because yes, I don't she's... think I can win. <laughs> Listen, no. Katie is not one to trifle with. So we did trifle. Do. We like it's a joke. It's a joke until it's not. Yeah, you know, yeah. like we, no, I'll get it. Yeah, I, I'll get no. I, yeah. I, you got it. You won't. You, you got, got it. it. Yeah, absolutely. That, Three listen, on her. Three on her. That night we took all <laughs> commands from the tower. We did. And we stayed out of trouble. So we, we were did. just doing as we were directed. We were and we were just you, having a good old time. Grand. It was being it was so harassed funny. by Blake. And <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was one of those. I mean, I I felt like I felt like yeah. man, this is what it feels like. Such you know, harassment. Like, yeah, this oh. is. Uh, I experienced sexual uh, harassment. Um, it's called S H. S A S A. Excuse me. S A. Sorry. So S H on the on the platform. Yes. S H. Yeah, so yeah, a little, he was just handsy, like yeah. handsy. I was like, man, I said, at first I'm like, ha ha, and then I'm like, sheesh, hey man, like <laughs> not there, not not today, yeah, <laughs> you know. It was like, uh, no, it was a good time. And I said, I'm funny. not. I said, I'm not easy. I'm not easy. <laughs> what was I said, this, about you got to work for this. Like this is a four date kind of guy. It is. <laughs> you know, like I'm a four date a before date you even now. before yeah. you even get to put your hand on these hips. You know what I'm saying? Like, I said, listen, don't buddy, you dare! Don't you first date me? You crazy? Listen, you're trying to go straight to the honeymoon and skip the ceremony. Like, we don't, nope. we don't do that yeah. around here. Nope. Okay. The uh, I say I'm a Southern belle, I, and I want to be treated as such. <laughs> Four date men, many. What was what was so funny about that night is like Katie got me. I assume she got me there because she's like, we're gonna join up on that speakeasy place that I was telling you guys about. Mm-hmm. We've been talking about joining it forever. It's a club. And, uh, it's a white yeah. person club. Yeah, it is. <laughs> There's no black people in there. Well, the well, I'm just, I'm just, you guys are going to be probably, outside of me and Katie, you guys are going to be the first guys I take there. So. Yes. Yeah. Changing the game. Like, Changing the game. You're bringing uh, your yeah. Indian friend so we go, in your... Uh, we, go, yes. <laughs> we go down there. Yes. And I'm like... Your white buddy, Carl. And Katie just looking around, and I'm like, where is everybody? Like, not where is everybody. I'm like... What are we like? What are we doing? Because I had no idea. She asked me all week, like, "What do we, What do you want to do? What do you want?" To do? I was like, "I don't want to really want. Let's just go get something to eat. Or just, yeah, let's, just, we'll just, let's just hang. hang. Yeah, like let's just have a date night." And she's like, "Okay, okay, okay." So then, like, we we go. She's like, "You want a beer?" And I was like, "Yeah, well, I guess we'll get a beer. Are we hanging out here?" She's like, "Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go. I'm gonna go check this place out." I'm like, "Okay." So yeah, I'm ordering us beers, and she disappears. And then I, I now you beers. see her. Now you don't. I have the beers, and I'm like, "Where's what? my lady?" Yeah, what is going on? And so I'm looking around. I can't find her. I call her. I'm like, where are you? She's like, I'm inside this little club thing. And I'm like, am I just hanging it? What am I doing? Am I just standing here? And she's like, play some ping pong. And that's the first time in my head I'm like, does she have some people, like some of my friends in this place? Like, that's what she's doing. And I walk in there and it's just her talking to the people, paying and uh, them doing our IDs and stuff. And then we walk out and I'm like, no. So at that point, <laughs> you thought you're all dang, point, yeah, y'all. Someone's point. gonna be here. People are about to be here. Nope. <laughs> nope. Hey, babe. And hey, let's go. Let's go play some games. Oh, at that okay. point, I was like, okay, I guess we're just gonna hang out and play. <laughs> and then we got then like we played the, the mental little, game. Yeah, we played the little whatever the sand sliding. I don't know what shuffleboard. I guess yeah, with salt. It's, it's yeah. salt or sand. I don't know what it is. I think it's sand. But taste um, it. Then we go. Then we go over, and she's like, "I'll, I'll buy, I'll buy a card because we have like twelve of those cards. They're all at the house. We never take them with us, and they all got money on them. So I'll buy, I'll buy a card, and then she shows up with like three cards. It's like, here, just take one. And I'm like, why? Why do you have three cards? And she's like, just take one. So then we start shooting basketball, and in the middle of me and her battle, I hear, "Look at this guy," or something. Like, oh, <laughs> of course you did. Go. Here we go. What are you and, getting? And then, <laughs> Why? <laughs> and then the fun, that's what you should have said. I probably did in some fashion in my mind. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it, it came out within the first five minutes. For sure. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Hilarious. Guaranteed. But we had fun. We had I, I'm out. sure there's video. I'm sure Katie has video that we need to put out on our social media, like on the Tuesday social media of us doing the uh, Dance Revolution. We did do karaoke. Oh, that was oh, terrible. Man. Okay. 
Like it is no, not it, one for old people. Here's, no, I, you no, no, you no. would think. Let me. You would think I would learn when it's a setup by Joel. You know what I mean? Yeah, y'all should do I it. I haven't figured it out yet. No, no, it didn't start with y'all should do it. It's, hey, we should do it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we should do <laughs> Dance 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 Revolution. Over. Pat oh, steps shoot. up and he's like, yeah, Nick, there you go. You got it, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I thought we were doing He's like, yeah, we, you start and, yeah, so and you, we'll finish. <laughs> you guys are doing it. I still that, haven't quit. You would think after all these years, like I'd know when the setup was coming. But you know what? We did it. We did it. And uh, you know, it's just it, it's it, just having it's having yeah. to change the setup over the years so you don't pick it up. That's you know, true. Just keep switching it up. Just keep switching does, it up. Does. But like, it was it was one? it was my first time playing the old Dance Dance Revolution. Mine too. Well, and no, it doesn't quite. Like I've played it once before. Doesn't quite go the way you think it was at almost forty. Actually, it goes exactly how you think it go at almost forty. Playing Dance Dance Revolution for the first time. So let's just yeah. say. I don't plan on playing Dance Dance Revolution in the near future. I mean, at the um, beginner level, it was terrible. It was just like aerobics. It was. So Left, Step. right. Like, it was, it was line dancing. Step. It was, you know? for sure. So, I get then it. We switched it to medium, and then it and that was too up. much. And then, yeah. Expedition, expedition. And then you couldn't, yeah. but you couldn't hear the song. So it was that like was a problem. Hear, Music. You had the um, you had Biggie the, you was had in the, the back. Yeah, you had well, Biggie in the back, while K-pop is in the front. Like it's just you, you had the house music. So right, the house music's playing throughout the whole yeah. place. Yeah, and it's like, and then yeah. um, which, which the speakers are like are like this big. Yeah, and you can't hear nothing. They should give you headphones. No. That'd be cool. Yeah. That's, yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm finna, t- I'm finna tell them and make that paper. Get that money, yeah, Shane. We had to, we had to try money, to recreate. Shane. I say I take tips. I got I got an idea for y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, check this money, out. Shane. How about people want to dance, but they can't hear the song? Just speaking of which, like playing guitar, speaking you know, of with, which, I say put these hard furniture. Would y'all go to those silent parties? Have y'all seen those silent parties? Where would you go to a party and, and everybody's got the headphones on? I don't. Well, that? here's my problem. I talk too much. <laughs> so like having to just be like. <laughs> Like, having to not be able to talk to people would suck. So if That's I go on my true. own, like, if it's like I'm going to this silent party, I yeah. don't know nobody, yeah, I'm yeah. cool, I'm just going to dance and, and right, right, eat right. these mushrooms or something, whatever the reason you go. Nobody yeah, goes to a have, dance party yeah. for fun. For like, sure. you don't just go, like, you have to deal with I just want to dance. Like, I maybe yeah. there's some people. I don't, I don't think that people that go to dance clubs or raves, I think everybody at a rave has to be on something. Got to be, yeah. Because or, they're not, no, or they're not getting the point. Like they're not, or they're, or they're super anything. like a uh, straight edge. Like yeah. oh, I don't do nothing, I just dance. Because you got to be my drug. Dance you got to be locked in at a rave, man. Like you got to go. You you got to be all in at a rave. Like there's no yeah. getting there and deciding. Hey, this isn't for me. Once he you're said, there, uh, you're there. That's why I've never been. I'm addicted to EDM. <laughs> What's that? Is it a drug? No, electronic dance music. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and, and it's just, and you can make anything, anything, like any sound, bring the house down. Yeah. Cheetos in my bag, That's like it. anything, <laughs> you know, anything. That's right. You know, it's just blood 100%. pumping, one hundred percent dancing. Right, yep. you bust out the chem lights, and it's a go. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's a funny thought. I had this idea today. I think we're talking about this. So funny. Like, do you think there's Christian nightclubs? Yes. Yeah. Like and oh, it's just absolutely. Christian like hip hop like absolutely and they're just getting <laughs> and I want to go to one I want to have go like to one. A, hey they have like a prayer break hey guy hey y'all check it out we're gonna take about five minutes and right now we want to make sure to to look out there if you're having a good time say oh okay <laughs> if Jesus is your savior say say oh, oh oh and if he's not your savior and you feel like right now is your time close everybody want to bow your head raise your hand raise your hand raise your hand. Hey, can we bring up the club officials to can pray over these people yeah. right now? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Club that's elders, right. I appreciate that. Yeah, everybody, come yeah. out now. If you're one of those people that raised their hand and not just a funky pump it, we're talking <laughs> about raising your hand to the question that we asked, and you want to give your life. Come on yeah. down, and then they like, boom, boom, do yeah. do a quick close little, you know, raise your hand Lord's, if you need to be saved. If you're not, you saved. know, <laughs> they, they do, do it, quick one, and then it's like and they go. <laughs> They go right back to DJ Anointed Fingers. You know what I mean? Because his fingers hey, are anointed. Give me that EDM beat. Give me that EDM beat again. <laughs> Jesus in the house. John 316. 
John yeah. 316. Killing it. There's <laughs> Ten Commandments. <laughs> There's Ten Commandments. Uh, don't break the tablet. Don't break the tablets. <laughs> and Moses said, the cinnamon. <laughs> and then the break, like in the break, it he just stops. It. He goes, it's like, part the, the red sea. sea. Part the sea. Part the sea. He parted. And, and like, <laughs> the red sea. That's so funny. That's so Here funny. comes Pharaoh. Here comes Pharaoh. I think that'd be funny. Be I just great. think that oh, that is. Uh, I know there's one. I know there's one. They have to well, exist. Right? I'm, like, I'm going to this Christian I club. Wanna uh, I want to go. I want to go. Whenever you like early teens, 12, 13 ish, 14 ish, did you guys go to Myrtle Beach at all? Yes. Oh, yeah. 14. Do you, 14. Do you remember yeah. it? Pavilion. The, at the Pavilion, yeah. they had that oh, yeah. teenage nightclub. Heck yeah. Or teenage yeah, club yeah. that you could Lit. turn up. I went with Dale. But. Lit. Nice. Nick, could you I can't imagine remember that? the like, name of it. God, what was the name of it? That'd be great. DJ Noah in the building. Yeah. We're turning up. We're saving souls. Let's go. These, are, these fingers are anointed. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> DJ, holy won't. Won't. We're squirting all the water out here, baby. It be, uh, it's coming down from the sprinklers, like in like in, like in uh, Blade. What was it? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> his hands are just up, just, just turning his up. hands, just getting turning doused. Up. Just just one yeah. guy walking around, just hitting people in the forehead. Yeah. I mean, as crazy as this sounds, mm. and we're not making fun because Peace I love all. the Lord. Absolutely. I love the Lord. That's a, I, no, that's, I that's know a good, that there is that's a good John Chris joke or whatever the guy's name is that does Christian comedy. You know, but John I know Greg. the uh, I know. There are some Christians that want to Dude, turn up so yes. bad, Dude. but they just don't That's want to right. offend God. So they're Is like, there, you know what? Hold on, We're going to do it our way. That's right. Hey, when you, yeah. and when they be dancing, they're like six inches, arm's length. Hey. That's it. Uh, they don't ever touch. Yeah. They, they back I, I it up, know. but they back it up the opposite direction. Yeah. <laughs> they they back it up. Hey, Nick, they when they back it. it up, they have to face you. They're they have all. to face you. <laughs> Just look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look at it. <laughs> hey, you know all what the name of the club me. would be? I got a name for the club. You ready? Holy Ghost Party. Mm. Holy Ghost Party. Hey. Hey, hey, House of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> hey, I got one right here. Ready? Club yeah. 316. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Here we go. This is how it's going to get. That's so stupid. <laughs> hey, the trilogy. <laughs> That's so funny. That's it. it is Christian. Uh, Christian it. party, man. Yeah, that fast. Yeah, that fast. Yeah, they have. Uh, See, you Yo. can't. Here's the thing: you can't do it without sounding corny. You can't. There's no way. There's no way around it. Like listen, you can't, if I you can't. Listen, if I go to a Christian theme club, I want it to be like '90s house music, like back when like Mr. Vega was it, and I just want all my songs to sound the same, so I can get lit. You know what I mean? Mm. The Christian rapper T Bone. I want to like hear all this Christian type of rap. music every time. Get it, Have a get rapper it. like this. Holy mm. Spirit, raise the roof. You know, I just want that for four and a half hours straight. And I'm I get it. I get it. No, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I want hard bass, Mr. Vane style house music. And I just want to get lifted in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Is that not the funniest thing? I would love it. I would love we're it. We're breaking rules and we're saving souls. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we start, let us all pray that yeah, God hey, that's hey, they start, they Holy start Spirit. and end with prayer. With, with the prayer, and sometimes the Holy Ghost just takes over the whole club and they're just over and just lifted in the spirit. Just people gone. just running around, just gone. Yeah, jeez, I just I, I want to go to this place. Right, let's go. I want to go. <laughs> Invite me. You're out there. Hey, that's heaven. That's heaven for a raver, a raving Christian. Like there you go. A ref- hey, I, that's called a reformed raver, right there. That's that's. that's I know when I die, I'm going up to the big rave in the sky. You know, hey, I'm a mosh pit the night away. You know what hey, I'm saying? I'm gonna go to rave in the sky with uh, DJ God. Hey, well, <laughs> he the best in the business. He don't miss. He does not miss. Why? Because he he knows. Yeah. He just knows. Dang, Jesus, where'd you find this? <laughs> <laughs> Good time. DJ Pauly Paul. No, that's that's lit right there. That's funny. Isn't that Send funny? Me. That's funny. I hey, was thinking about hilarious. I wrote that down on my phone. It's Hold so funny that somehow yeah. we found our way to it. The Those Lord two, inspired that. It did. Thank you, you Lord. So you know what? Hey, you got a good joke. That's 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 kid friendly. Put it out there. 
put it hey, out Hey, Pat, did you see what I said about booty dancing? They have to face each other and they can be like... Yeah. <laughs> Backing it up. <laughs> like, they can not They can do it, but they can't go butt but, to front. So they just... No, they face each other. No, they no, look, they at, look each at each other. each other. They can't, oh. they can't turn around and back it up. They got to look at each other while they back it's, it up. I, 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 thought I, I, I thought you were saying like they hit butt. Like they back no, back. they turn around and face each other and they back it up, you know, <laughs> reverse style. <laughs> What's so funny was Joel was doing that in the, in the, in the gas station yesterday. <laughs> oh, that was true. It was. Freaking gas station attendant was dying laughing, dude. Sometimes I forget that I'm 39. It's okay. I'm all the time. I don't ever sit around and think like, man, like I know. Yeah, that's dude, that's yeah. a good thing. You know? That's a good thing. Until, you you have, until you're reminded. And then it's like, Oof. I was reminded yesterday at about 6.30 p.m. <laughs> on the way to the gym that I'm 39 and these insides don't work the way they used to. Oh, what man. I thought was a friendly fart Talk turned out to be the deadly devil <laughs> yeah, of was. of something not good. I popped not up good. quickly. Nick looked at me. He he Nick did. thought I was joking. He thought Nick I was, was kidding. He's all. I Nick said. Was with you? He said he I was, was going to the gym. We were driving. <laughs> Listen, we we're going to the gym. Listen, I just I just got off work. I took a shower. Oh. And we were headed to the gym, and I drank an energy drink, you know, ready to go. You know, sometimes you get those oh. pre-workout poopies. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the pump dump. Yeah. And, well, I thought, here, oh, no big deal. And I instantly, you know how you know instantly? You're like, oh, crud. You and I like have really fast wet. booty booty reflexes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I popped up, boom, and I'm like holding myself. I'm like, hey, man. I was like, dang, we got to go back. He's all, oh, why? <laughs> and, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, why? He looks at me. He's like thinking I'm joking. I'm like, boo. I was like, bro, I just, uh, I was like, I just, uh, I was like, I thought I had to fart. And I said, uh, I was like, it wasn't that. And he goes, oh, no, you're serious. And I was like, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh, I was like, man, I'm so sorry. I really wanted to get a good pump in, but it looks like yeah. my butt had other plans for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he had a yeah, he had a little rosebud in there, Pat. He had a little thing. And it was I felt so bad because he couldn't sit down. Like he literally was yeah, like, my calves were my calves were burning. Yeah. By the end of it, like, I was like on my calves, like holding yeah, it up, you know, because it's a truck. And so I was, was like on my toes. And the, and and the crazy on, part. You know, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I was on yeah. the left side, the left cheek, like leaning. Yeah. And part of me is like, maybe maybe it didn't hit the undies. Maybe it right. was just uh <laughs> And it always Maybe it was does. just uh, you know how sometimes does. you get sometimes you're quick enough and just yeah. like yeah. oh something's there but it, it was, didn't it was make just it a little bit of hot like, oh, yeah. yeah so it was de- it definitely hit the <laughs> and I'm embarrassed but it's it was a on real the, life uh, story yeah, and that reminded me yeah. that I was 39 and yeah. this yeah. Yeah. and I can't eat fast foods I gotta yeah. say no you gotta say no mm-hmm. gotta that say no. or you gotta give yourself a waning time like you eat the fast food then you have to give yourself time. For it to wind up, or you eat the fast food go. after you work out. I just yeah. I hate that I can't be as confident as usual. It's true about what I know is going to happen. Like, oh, I got this. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, no, oh. reality. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you're just you're on the edge of fear, oh, and then you're like, it's good, I'm good, and then you know right, for the I rest love, of the day you're I good. I love the fact yeah. that Nick's just driving hey. along, ready to get, well, get here's, that mindset here's, in. And we're going here's, to work. here's why I thought it was joking, right? Because if if I were to accidentally accidental myself right mm. i would be devastated i'd be like oh joel goes oh <laughs> he's like <laughs> wait he goes i can't i can't do it a straight face hold on he goes oh hey we gotta turn around <laughs> and i'm like what do you mean what happened i thought maybe he forgot his wallet because way shot up <laughs> like he immediately shot up and normally when joel loses his wallet fast, he freaks out. he's like oh, oh, oh but he goes yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, we got to turn around. I said, <laughs> it's really fast here. I said, bro, what's, you good? Would you forget something? He's like, oh, man, I just pooped myself. <laughs> and I was like, okay, whatever, dude. He's like, no, for real, I pooped myself. And he had this look on his face. And that's when I was like, oh, snap. Like, oh, dude, you're, you're really embarrassment. Yeah. You're embarrassed. You're like, and he's like, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm like, bro, don't apologize to me. Like, <laughs> if anybody feels sorry, it's I was sorry. me. Bro. I was like, it's no, me. man, I'm sorry. You know I what I mean? Turn so, around about half a so, mile ago. Listen, mm. Again, man. Joel is like fully pressed. Like he's up to the left side. Holding myself. He's hiked up. Cop gets behind us. I'm like, oh, oh crap. Like, what if we get pulled over? Like, I was like, Nick goes, Nick goes like this. He goes, he goes, dude. Try and sit a little bit lower. We might get pulled over. I said, I said you know what? I I'll said, let him pull. I said, let him pull me over. I said, you know what I'm saying? I said, hey man, I pooped myself. I said, what's the cop gonna do? I said, check. You don't believe me? Check them. Yeah, check right. the drawers. Then you're in trouble, buddy, because you the just game, looked at yeah. my poopy. The game I was has like, changed. I was like, and so like, Nick's all. 
Nick's all, oh, this could be a good podcast thing if we get pulled over. <laughs> stay up, stay up, stay up. Maybe we'll get pulled over. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. So I stay propped up, hoping we get pulled over, and he turns. Heck yeah. Oh. I was like, yeah, came on. Like, that's usually, a great podcast for it. Yeah. Usually I'd yeah. be scared because the way we look, but this time I was like, pull us over because there's be really – there's really something there. He can't There's, tell me I'm lying. Yeah, like, yeah. he can't say, whatever, There's you're lying. Yeah. I say, have a sniff. Yeah. Joel's, <laughs> Joel's a got a package. Have, have a sniff. Have, have a sniff. sniff. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, that is my reminder but anyways, of no pun intended. age. Yep. No, oh. it was real. It was real. It's just he was so nonchalant about it. Joel, Pat, I'd have been freaking out. I'd be like, I oh. Can, the, the funniest oh part is I can, like, see. Not Joel. Not you guys cool. explain it to me. I can see both of you guys. I can see the whole interaction because I, I know you guys so well. <sighs> yeah. How I tell you, my brain. I, I tell you, Pat. I like I'm a third of the third person yeah. there in the car. I was Joel, being cool, man. <laughs> Joel was cool as a cucumber, man. Like he didn't shake. He was just like, oh, well. So, <laughs> just, I mean, not like oh my god like I, i'd have been freaking out i'd be like oh bro stop, stop, oh, stop, holy stop. Like, oh. <laughs> you're my best friend oh, I know. so i'm like I i'm like why would i lie i tell my wife i'll tell you and now i'm telling everybody else well yeah. you've come Man. close before well it was one of those you, moments you, you had you had a, you had a you had a, a sticky moment one time but you you're like oh no it didn't come out like so it wasn't the first time you I'm came good. close. It's just this time he went all the way. And so it's I was not prepared just, for the rosebud. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I didn't. I I want to thank my underwear for being there. There you go. They protected your car and my they, clothes. They did protect so, my seat. So underwear, if you ever don't wear them, think again. Yeah. Because you could eat the wrong thing. Especially, especially after 38. Mm-hmm. I had thunder could. gut, though. I mean, I had thunder gut. And it was just like. Yeah. <laughs> And I thought I was going to have some lightning bolts, which are usually toots, but nope. It was a nope. mudslide. It was. It was a bad day. It yeah. was. Nick, I'm glad you were there, though, and you were with me, and you didn't make course, me feel bad. So, hey, Nick's like this. Hey, Nick's like this. Hey, it happens. <laughs> I was like, I mean, ain't that the truth? What else can yeah. you do? I mean, I mean, it's happened to every one of us. It's not like he purposely did it. You know, it would be different if he's just like you know, The only thing that would – like, I'm going like, to get – I mean, purposely, like, like I'm just like trying to poop in your car. Like, man, I don't want to go yeah. to the gym. I don't want to go to the gym. I, I say, hey, there's there's <laughs> better ways. Of, there's better ways of getting out going to the gym. No. Turn around. <laughs> I just do <duty. laughs> The only thing, the only thing that I, would be I, that would made that whole situation better, and I'm gonna get one in the chat for this, is if you was like, oh god, and then you told Nick, like, uh, I just pooped myself, and Nick goes, oh shit, and you go, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's facts. No. It was just it was two good. bros. It was two bros having a moment of understanding. Yeah. You know, no it's judgment. Have, it's good to have friends that understand that you know, around the same age. Hey, I understand the plight. You know what I mean? Happens you to see, the best there's, of here, here, Here's the thing. I'm going to say this, and then we can move forward. Sure. Okay. Uh, when you actually poop yourself, you can't pretend like you didn't. You like, <laughs> can't just be like, oh, let's go to the gym. Let's have a good time. You're going to smell it. I'm going to feel it. Yeah, that's not happening. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he, so when I say, "Hey, man, like we got to go," like yeah. poop me, like <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Like, yeah. do I pre- just hang just out? Through, like, just, just push hover? Through, like, like nah. you're just like, what are you doing? I'm like having a good time with you. <laughs> working my best tribe. Friends. Working my tribe. <laughs> hey, man, we're best friends. I'm warming up. Warming up. I mean, yeah, let me work it in. Yeah, it's hilarious. So, I mean. When it, it when it makes hey, when it makes its way, you gotta just be like, hey. you just gotta be like, hey, understand it. And we it just get it. happens, but it turned it's out great because we we ended up at Meeple's. Code three, we, we got some good pur- purchases. So you know, we turned no. we turned an accident into a good a good night. It was you know? a great night. And then we went and got some chicken salad chicks, which was phenomenal. So good it was a great yeah. it was a great turnaround. It was it was a moment that could have been tragic, and we turned it into into to something that was just beautiful. At the end, I of thought the it was day. good old it was time. It was we ate outside. It, it was did. hot as heck, but it, it was a nice so night. It was nice. It was real nice. It's been so hot. You know what makes me mad? Talk about it. Is when they go, um, when you're watching the weather, they're like, oh, it's 92, but it feels like 104. <laughs> then it's 104 degrees. That's yeah. exactly what it like, is. Yeah. If, it's, if it feels like 104, it is just be like, hey, man, it's 104. Yeah. Because that's what it is. I mean, that's <laughs> what, if it feels like that, that's what it is, that's, right? That's reality. I like, got you know, is like, that is that not true? That's true. Oh my I app. Believe that. On my phone feels, app. 
Yeah. It told me I was going to the grocery store today, and the interior of my car was 154 degrees. Oh, sure. You was cooking in there. Oh, sure. Uh, you was an egg mm-hmm. making dinner for yourself. I'm going to tell you how you also know you're getting old. When you actually put your panels up, when you put a sun yeah. visor in your truck, like <laughs> that is me. That is me. Yeah, I, that is me. I, I, I 100% put up my sun visor in the truck because you know like, are you I can't able to deal with it. Now can't handle the heat. I can't. You got to put the cool ones up. Like you got to put up the nerd ones. Like you got to put the Star Wars one. Where it looks. I like got to get one. Sh- it looks like they're flying the ship. There's like four of them. That's true. Right now, I just have I have the American flag because you know America, America. America. Hey, and, uh, hey, speaking of America. Yeah. Did you see they had the, um, I got, speaking of which, I'm about to eat these delicious Doritas, treats. Doritas, yeah. This is Doritas. Doritas. Crispy puff pastry The return. The return. Um, no, these are not, the other ones were different. This is oh, something I've never dude, had before. Dude, this is awesome. brand new. Oh, it's brand it new. Like it's just, wafer cookies. It's a big cracker. Oh, nice. Is it? I'm not excited about this one. You're not excited. I told the nice guy, one. I said, you know, I said, I come here every, he's like, you come here every Wednesday. I said, I do. I said, I buy your Mexican treats. There you go. So, because I like to try them on my podcast, he goes, "These are good." I said, "Ah, they look like big captain's wafers, hmm. big yeah. saltines or something." Yeah. So, no, they're good. They eat well, them with coffee. We're about to like, find out. Oh, there's three of them. I can't eat all three of these. There's no way. Let's hear it. <clears throat> oh, just kidding. Did that look real? It did. did that break looked like. Was, dang, he's getting into it. I was convinced. <clears throat> Shout out to uh, Bimbo Ooh. Bakeries. Hmm. Crunchy. <clears throat> okay, you know what it is. What? Okay. It's like a pop tart. So you remember those? Um, you know, at Christmas time, we get those tins. Oh and They're yeah. blue, and you oh, open yeah. them. They're hard to open. We open them. And there's like the fourteen sh- different yeah. cookies in there. Yeah, Sugar cookies. Like shape. Some of them shaped like a pretzel, and there's, yeah. yeah. So literally, this is a gigantic butter cookie. Oh, it's a butter cookie. One of those uh, nice cookies. Butter cookies in the tin. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. I, I, it's not bad, but it's pretty plain. Where my mouth is tonight? Yeah, that's the only bite for me. It's a desert. Mm. It's a desert. That is it has like a like a weird chicken taste at the end. Ew. I wonder if that's on. Hmm. Like the old uh, chicken in a biscuit. Yeah, I wish. Mm. Let me some do you put it. cheese whiz on your biscuit? Oh, of course I do. What else would you put on chicken and a biscuit? Right, that's good. Yeah. Hey, so did you guys see they had the um, big UFO thing oh, today? The big, the big Congress yeah. UFO thing today? That's and the guy went on record. So literally, they're saying now, like, all the reports are like, UFO, like, aliens exist. Like, aliens exist. <laughs> like, that's what they're saying now. That's the thing. Could you imagine? I was, this is what I thought about. I was like, man, I was driving home, and I was listening to some of it on NPR, and they were talking about, like, asking these questions to him, like, uh, like, uh, have we, you know, have we captured any, like, humanoids or whatever? And he's like, yeah, there's, you know, they've got some biological stuff. <clears throat> and, you know, have they ever, uh, you know, have they hurt anybody? He's like, yeah, they've hurt some people, <laughs> the UAPs and the people in it. <clears throat> so asking these questions. And I was like, man, like, what if they came and they're like, you know, we want to take us to your leader. Yeah. And then they have to talk to Joe Biden. Oh, crap. Ooh. Hey, there. Uh, you just don't know this. We're Americans. Uh, hey, humans. Thank you. Could you imagine, like, what a representation like that is. We're screwed. Yeah. Like, we're screwed. Aliens show up. They're like, oh, get out of here. Wrong planet. Mm-hmm. We want to thank all of our alien friends. He's going to stop us and go. He's going to stare really at him. appreciate your patronage. Dude, did you, and speaking of, did you see the States. Mitch McConnell video today? That fool turned off. Oh. He just turned off. <laughs> that's so weird. Yeah, that's weird. But yeah, like, so, could you, and then, like, what if it was Trump? Oh. Could you, I mean, how stupid would we look Dude. then? Like, whether it's, it's, it's like, uh, oh, hey, Mr. Like, oh, my, they're all, oh, yeah. my God. Like, yeah. here's this dude. What? Like, like when, we visited, when we visited back. <laughs> Like they come to Earth and they're like, "Take us to your leader," and it's Donald Trump. Dude. Oh, hello. hello. What, if meet, what if they What if they meet Biden first? That's what and I'm saying. No, like, either one. Then they're, then they're like, one. "Yeah, this isn't the guy we yeah, thought." We, yeah, we're and out. then they're yeah. like, "Well, this that's is what I'm saying. Past, this is our last president." <laughs> like, that's, that was what I'm saying. I'm looking at both points. Like, yeah. like whether it's what? Biden or Trump, like we're screwed. 
Like, it's over either way. We're screwed. Like, they're going to leave either way. Like, oh, like, this is all dang we got. it. This is all we got. We blew it. Like, we blew it. Yeah. We had our one chance, and we blew it. Dude, another, so I, don't, like, I don't know that I should bring brutal. it up. I'm not bring it. I had another political story, but I'm not going to bring it up. <laughs> like, is, there, is there another leader we can talk yeah. to? <laughs> Take us to your leader. Oh, yeah. not him. Yeah. <laughs> is this what you guys call a, a joke? Huh? <laughs> I don't understand human yeah, committee. Human comedy is beyond me. So, yeah, they're basically no, saying that UFOs no. and aliens exist. Yeah, well. So now, does it does that track back to the guy that that movie was made about? Is no, like we, we have to say like, hey, that probably really happened. Yeah. Well, a lot of stuff. Fire in the sky. I think the movie. Maybe. Could be. Maybe. I mean, there's a lot hey, of stuff so they're saying now. Who, who, what's the name of the guy from Ancient Aliens with the crazy hair? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Uh, Do you think it's finally time for them to recognize that man? Because that man's been going hard for years. Doing it just changes if it is true. And let's say they show up and they're like, "Yeah, we've been here forever. Like we've been yeah. influenced and stuff." Like what? Is, that wrecks a lot of things. Like that just wrecks like mm-hmm. thoughts. It does like it does. you're? And if you're not strong in anything, that just wrecks your whole belief system. That you're wrecks like. Up. That wrecks you're like a history. Up. And they're like, "Well, this history is wrong. Like this is the truth." Dead wrong. And it's, it's like, it's holy crap. Giorgio Sukalos. Giorgio. Yeah. That's Giorgio right. A. Sukalos. Sukalos. Yes. My man's mm-hmm. been talking about this for years. Mm-hmm. You know, he's hype right now. I bet he's like, yes. Oh, really? Everybody. Like, there's no, there's no, probably no bigger people that are more hype than him. Yeah. Yeah. That guy that, uh, God, what's the guy's name that was, that they had like a few years ago that they made a documentary on Netflix about that said he worked at, Area 51. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, um, no. Uh, what's oh. Called? Freaking, he's huge. In, he's huge in it. And right I cannot believe I'm embarrassed. It's all, here, it's all about. Uh, he's a big name that people, everybody, uh, Bob Lazard. Bob yeah. Lazard. Oh, that's yeah. him. That's him. Yep. I was just looking him up. The, oh, um, my brain was like racking all the, the alien I, people, Every like, time I think about it, I'm like, I, I was so into that movie because when I saw the stuff on Rogan. But yeah, so the guy that does Ancient Aliens, the Bob Lazar and Joe Rogan are the three most hyped people <laughs> in the world. Dude, right it's now. crazy. Like alien dude. Oh, super it's crazy. Right it's insane. really like, um, it just really, it. I mean, man, it changes a lot. It just well, it makes you wonder how much, stuff, like how much know, ish, like, yeah. how much ish that we think is like is. Oh no, I don't think. But they know that it's real now. Yeah. Like, I mean, what, I if, agree. what if they know aliens built like they do. the I'm pyramids, sure they know a lot more like the pyramids or Rome? I was, dude, I was listening to it would make sense, um, dude. What's the what's the black guy's name or the African American guy's name? That's the scientist that always talks like crazy. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yes, dude. Have you seen the video of him talking about like if the universe expands? Yeah. At some point. The our our kids kids will lose, uh, like a uh, gap of the history, and you're and and he's talking to uh, Stephen O. My, I can't remember name. I'm too tired. Uh, Stephen O. What's the guy's name? that has got the late night show. Oh, Stephen Colbert. Stephen Colbert. And Love uh, me some Stephen Colbert. so he's talking to him, and he's talking about this, and you're like, oh, that's crazy. So when they when they teach this, like. A few generations down the line, there's going to be a gap because the expansion of the universe. Yeah. But then he's like, "But what I lose sleep over is what if that happened to us? So there's a gap in the expansion of our universe that is like deleted from history. So now, when they built all these cities that were like people say were impossible for the time period or the pyramids." Or they say they're impossible for on. our period, like yeah. our period too. Yeah. They say that Still we can't, can't do it. it. Yeah. Like that's what's so they crazy. Tried. How they can failed. how can a less civilized or less intelligent time people create things that we struggle to even be like, hmm, how, how do they do that? Like they got it, sticks and stuff and they're carving. Primitive, and, yeah, primitive yeah. tools like, and they're doing all this crazy <clears> stuff. Building yeah. like a whole underground, I think there was a, a whole underground city. city. You gotta build. believe. You gotta act as time progresses, right? You start to think that a lot of conspiracies, such as the idea that the past is fake, and what we've been told is just kind of like the story that they want us to know. Mm-hmm. 
Because, I mean, it makes sense. Like, if you think about a lot of stuff, man, there's a lot of crazy things when they talk about um, a lot of these dudes. Like, even TikTok. I know it sounds stupid to talk about, but these people, it's interesting. You know, I'm not saying it's yeah, real. Yeah. Like, this idea that other civilizations existed prior to this one, and there was, like, a, like a, like a, like a flood or something or some kind of, like, yeah. like, it was covered in some kind of thing. You know, it was destroyed, and then they restarted. So now yeah. we're here. Yeah. And so that, that's why there's buildings that they're like, man, I don't even know how they did yeah. that, but... Well, and not we've to, you know, just, but we've always just we've always just understood. Yeah. Like before now, we've always just been like, "Oh, dude, that's the truth." We've been to the moon. We've done this. We've done that. That's what they say. Mm-hmm. But now, yeah. too much information is dangerous. And now it's like mm-hmm. too much information, which it it like just pokes holes in all these things to where you're not like, "Well, dang, that's that's facts." Like, why can't we go back to the moon? Like, why? How can you say in the nineteen in nineteen sixty nine we could get to the moon, but now you're saying we lost the technology like for years? No, and we can't go back to it's like two thousand twenty five. A duh, because the transformers are up there. Come on, Joel. <laughs> but you know, but you know, under really, a rock. It's insane. Dark side of the moon. They're terraforming right now. Get your mm-hmm. life together, bro. But you, do you feel me or kneel me? Yeah, no, I, I feel do. you, bro. No, it's, I, I mean, mean, it's you know, well. It, it's, it makes you how's think, that? Well, does, do you ever think about how now, how we, like if you, if you like Katie made, made, kind of made this point, but other people made the points if they travel to a different country, the way that we are portrayed in that country by the media is completely different than the way that we actually are. And well, then you hear how like North Korea is controlled by what, what is presented to their population. Russia is controlled by what is presented to their population. You know, how do we... Everybody is. Like, yeah. yeah. How do we know, like, we we're, you're, we can't be so naive to think that we're... I mean, well, we're figuring it out now. But for years, probably our whole lifetime, probably our parents' whole lifetime, the media has controlled what's successful, what's not successful, what our energy sources are, what our energy sources are could be or that have been held back, you know? Well, I think it's more so like the government, not so much the media, because I think there's hands in everything. When you start to shape education yeah. and you start to say, this is what you can learn, this is what you can't learn, mm-hmm. you take the, uh, you know, you, you put the Pledge of Allegiance in, you take the Pledge of Allegiance out, you pray, you can't pray, now you can pray, and now you mm-hmm. can't, you know, all these things. <clears throat> Boys can use girl bathrooms, girls can use boy, you know, there's all these yeah. things, you know. So it's difficult, you know. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I feel like you have to, like, if you blur boundaries to the point where there aren't any boundaries, there's no boundaries for people to obey. Then you get into a world where there, if there's a world with no boundaries, then it's like free for all. Well, th- I think, Nick, what do you think? Um, <sighs> Going back to, to kind of what you're saying about history, I think, and, and this is me, so y'all know I taught eighth grade middle school for a short time, and the thing that I detested about it is the fact that they basically told me as a teacher that I would, could never allow a student to prove me wrong, and the issue I have with that is that we find out that history is debunked on a regular basis, and so mm-hmm. to to be told that you can't question history or you can't question or push back against things that somebody else is, I think it's completely wrong. And so to your point, it is government control, right? The government tries to change the narrative. I mean, look what just happened with this whole, what was it? The race theory. Um, yeah. You know, and, and trying to erase that and trying to erase history. And then, you know, one, one of the biggest uh, documentaries that came out and changed my mind was a documentary called Abraham Lincoln center of saint. You know what I mean? And it really just debunked everything that they made Abraham Lincoln out to be. Now, is it true? I don't know, because it's a representation of what somebody else said. But you can't deny the facts, and you can't deny the facts when it comes to history. Mm-hmm. And if, if if history is telling us that there have been aliens around for hundreds of uh, thousands of years, then that's we should be able to ask those questions. Uh, but I think we just live in a society, to your point, Pat, to where, you know, people just accept what they're told because it's, and we talked about this as a previous podcast, right? Because mm-hmm. it's easier to fall in with the crowd, right? It's easy yeah. to fall in and be able to say, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I believe in what they say. Don't know why. And you're blindly leading and get behind something that makes zero sense. And so, yeah, I mean, it's all, at the end of the day, my whole thing is always ask questions, right? If you, you think- feel <clears throat> within yourself that 
it's not right or if it doesn't seem right, you should have the, the, the right to push back or the right to speak up about it. And the problem is, unfortunately, we live in a society where that's considered wrong. Yeah. Two questions for you. <clears throat> yep. A, do you think people are scared? Does it make people scared? B, do you think that now that it's out there that they'll show up if it is real? So, hmm. like, and what would scared. you do? What would you, you do? Like, yeah. I mean, like, to, to say that I'm not fearful would, would be silly because it's the unknown. And people fear what they don't know. It's natural. Um, and if they do show up, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what would I, you do? Like, think about that. You're outside. You're outside. No and they just all of a up. sudden. Shoo. But the thing is, <coughs> would it be like that? I guess you could say, right? Because that, you know, that's some TV stuff. That's some movie stuff. Sure. Right? It, and everything, everything is but, based on what we've made up. Oh, sure. I believe. Yeah. But I just, would it be like that? Now, if it is like oh, that, no. absolutely. I, let's I mean, assume, to, let's assume that our reality is what we know yeah. from TV. To say that I wouldn't be scared would be an absolute lie. <sighs> because in that moment, who wouldn't be? Yeah. That would be crazy, man. To be out, just to look out and just be like, oh, it like, would be amazing I and mean, terrifying. Because yeah. my, my only hope in that moment is, please don't be aggressive. Please don't be aggressive. Be, please be don't nice. Be aggressive. Like, like, like please crazy. don't. You know what I mean? Please, please, yeah. please. Well, here's, you know. Here's my thought. Here's my. Th- if they've been here for so long, then they have to not be hostile. Because we wouldn't. We wouldn't be here. That's yeah. Like, I mean, right? my thing and, is is like, what if? D- two things could have happened with them. Like this is this is a stretch, but two things could have happened with Men in Black, the movie. One is oh. somebody came up with the concept and was like, "Hey, this would be fun," and then we could do it for Will Smith and Tommy Lee in there. Or Will Smith uh, is a real agent. Or somebody knew something or found something out and was like, "Hey, I'm going to just make this movie and put these two stars in it." So yeah. they'll just say, "Hey, we'll do it." But in reality, well, I know that there's like aliens living among us. There's real stories about men in black mm-hmm. that they actually yeah. visit, like people who claim to be abducted or this and that. They'll show up, and yeah, they're like, there's "Oh, pictures. these people show." Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff, right? So it's crazy. But yeah, so that's interesting, man. And 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 I wonder if we're to a point that the government actually said, like, because today everything was like you know under oath, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. If that's the if that's the case, we're to assume that this guy's been telling the truth, and he really, and, and, you know, he's answered all the questions. And they say, "Hey, can you show us this?" He's like, "I can, just behind closed doors." You know, I can't. Mm-hmm. So I can't disclose to the public. And they're like, "Okay." So he's answering all the questions. And I mean, according to that, do like we're to believe that aliens are real, and they've yeah. been visiting us, and we've captured vehicles, and we've been reverse engineering them, and it's been going on, you know. I honest, okay. Here, here are my thoughts. Here are my thoughts. And this, to me, makes the most logical sense. Um, they're already here, and I say they're already here because yeah. you look at technology. Mm-hmm. I think that really speaks for itself. And I don't believe that the aliens would allow us to just take their stuff and then not have some type of say to it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. if well, they can send one, they can send another one. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, no, I, for if sure. anything, we're, they're working with us already, right? Yeah, they and would. They wouldn't. They wouldn't be like, "Oh no, they took our ship." I like, just they don't. would just be like, "Boom!" Yeah, right. So right. my well, well, you know, like uh, it's, it's I don't know. I don't it's know. a lot to it. It's a lot to think about. Um, but I just I, that's that's honestly my true thought. They're, they've they've been here. Uh, they've been helping us mold and develop. You know, well, they're saying the since the nukes, you know what I mean. Since oh, the absolutely. nukes, that, like absolutely, they're saying since, and this is just a theory. I'm well, sure. you think of like, you one think of those of, things, ancient aliens, like those shows yeah. and stuff like that. But with, but they're kind of confirming all those things. So sure, and so, I mean, so we have to take kind of a face back of, a little bit more than that. Think of every major breakthrough and invention that comes through, whether it's steam powered, whether it's electricity. Because again, how does how does electricity work? How does Wi-Fi work? How does it work? Signals, yeah. But how do, how do, how are they here. able to control those Waves. signals and give them a no, destination? Yeah, no. That's what I'm saying. No, yeah. It's, like, it's leaps. sure we we know what the the general idea is, but how well, how are we able to take the cloud? No, sure. Like uh, so, and, my thought, my, yeah. like ingenuity is hard to believe sometimes, right? It like, is. That someone just goes, man, if I if I take this and I rub it together and connect Boom. this wire. There it is. And I've created a little energy. Like, yeah. 
Well, it's, I mean, and, like, and leaps, leaps, leap forward, leap forward, like leaps forward in in time, even for humankind, right? We sure in like fifty thousand years, like we've evolved so fast, yeah. mm-hmm. like so fast, based on evolution time yeah. frame, right? If you if you look at it like that, <clears throat> but we've we've evolved so quick. Once we started, like once we became Homo sapiens, it was just like just flip, you know, things yeah. just mm-hmm. and, and and you look back at like. Uh, you know the you know you look back at um you know even the Sumerians and stuff like the beginning of time like the mm-hmm. first civilizations bro they were so advanced they were like the the buildings they built the 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 pyramids still stand in Iraq like the Babylonian temples yeah. they're mm-hmm. like uh zagats you know what I'm talking about they're like yeah. they're like this they're not like this they're the ones that are like feel like I slept outside yeah. next to yeah. one when well, we were in Iraq. I mean, you think about and, the, the, the pyramid, but you think about the pattern of pyramids, the Mayans in South America, right? Same yeah, style. Look the same. Yeah, for look sure. Exactly the same. It's just the pyramids, the only difference is, well, and even, so, in, even like, in the Gaza, they have the stair step zones, but then there's some. And we're supposed to the, believe that these people at the same time just said, hey, yeah, I figured this out. Let me, let me see if you we put these. Yeah, <laughs> if, we all, if we all center them perfectly on the, G, on the map. Yeah. Even though we have no ability to see above, right? Mm-hmm. And, perf- and we have we have stone tools according to history. Sure. According to history, right? We're not talking about anything mechanical. No, like ting ting ting. No, outside ting, of ting, outside ting, of a lever, ting, ting, right? Ting. Outside like, of a lever and a wheel. Yeah. And these people <clears throat> are building all these gigantic structures. Yeah, yeah. Like that's so insane. Weird. Like, well, and I've always, always struggled with that. And I know we, and, and you can say we're crazy, and I know that history or whatever, and I went to the same school as y'all did. Well, sure. You know, I get it. Oh, sure. But <clears throat> well, it just doesn't make sense it. to you think me. About it. What sense does it make when someone says back in ancient times they were able to map the stars? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, think about it. They were able to map the stars. That means you literally have to stare at the stars 24 7 for like 365 days. Right. And say, okay, this star is here, here, here. Oh, it's back. Here, here, here. Oh, mm-hmm. now it's, you know, like right, you yeah. have to watch it completely. And, and, and you have one little lens. Yeah. Mm, you know, the you technology is not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's, so it's, like, it's, it's crazy. This so is like, what, it's just, like when just, I take it to this. Sorry to cut you off, Joe. The, no, go when I take it, like, You've heard people, and you guys can relate to this because you guys are both musicians and songwriters. When people say, like, the song comes to you, like the universe gives you the song. That's some right. beliefs of songwriters. I mean, what's to say that there's not a signal going to a Steve Jobs' brain or Elon Musk's brain when he goes to sleep that somebody's sending these ideas? Like, yeah. For lack of a better term, uploading these ideas to his brain. Well, there's a lot of and reports of that says. in history. That was, like, yeah. They say they have dreams mm-hmm. or they woke up one day and it was just, oh. They had figured out the formula. Yeah, and it's, that's, it's not a fact of like, oh, well, we put this together and we put this together. And then these, like, it was saying, like these two wires clicked and then it worked. Oh, my God. It was, we had electricity. I'm going to keep it. I'm going like, to keep it I, simple do I than believe, that. Do I believe that Benjamin Franklin... Flew a flag with a key on it and the lightning struck it, and that's how electricity was created. Uh, Unbelievable! Look at what I've done. I can hear colors. I can yeah. see sounds. It was so fat and weird with his little was, ponytail all braided. Pat, I got a very, very simple theory that's going to even make it even simpler than that. Right now, there's that's, an alien somewhere that's falling. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They got it. They know how to do it because they were given the blueprint. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Right now, he's balling and got broads for days. Who? So it's Who? just a lineage of alien families that's just been passing down this information for years and years. And now they're up somewhere living fat and happy and balling in the United States. Yep. Maybe. With their reptilian eyes. No, I'm just kidding. I no, just think but it's, I mean, um, <laughs> it's so weird. I think it's fun for me. It's, yeah, it's, a bunch uh, of reptiles a, just balling right now. It's a fun time. It's a good it's time the, to be alive. I thought. Is. I thought that... <clears throat> I just never thought that it would be so like they would be taken so serious because it's always been fringe. But I tell you, I tell you this with everything in me. Um, I saw a UFO when I was younger. I was in the fifth grade. We were playing hide and seek. I was coming up from playing hide and seek in my apartments. It was right there. It was just like flopping around. Me and my friend, I ran up to get my dad, came back out, and it was gone. But I stood there for about probably 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And it was crazy. And from that point on, I went to the, I went to the library. I started reading all these books on UFOs, planets, everything. I was obsessed, <clears throat> you know. And it's always stuck with me. It's never changed. I've, Nick, you know me. I've watched you, ancient I know. aliens. I have you made books, me read two. You, you made me read two books in high school. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have tons of stuff now. I mean, he it's truly did. I'm He's always, like, you got to read these books. I've <laughs> always been. I'm part of um, that UFO, like uh, what's called in the United States. You know, I forget what it's mm-hmm. called. Uh, gosh, darn it. I know, I know what but, you're talking about. Yeah. But, so, I mean, I'm all about it. And Wait, you're in a cult? Yes, I'm in a cult. <sighs> Man, you never told it's me. It's a fun time for friends. Never told me. You never I told never, me. You're not invited. I clearly, because you never told me about it. It's a hair cult, man. I can't lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so now... <laughs> I'm, I'm not leaving you this go. time. Standing up hey. to you. Standing up to you. Have you seen you guys? You guys are on TikTok. Yeah. Yes. Have you seen the stupid NPC stuff that's going on? Oh, good ice cream. (laughs) Lovely. Mm, Lovely. (laughs) Oh, chicken. Mm, So good. Mm, Thank you. Oh, roses. Smells nice. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, ice cream. My favorite. What is this? I haven't seen this. It's, so on TikTok, these people do these lives, and they mm-hmm. they pretend to be NPCs, yep. and people just send them stuff. And as they they're like, so what is the they don't move. They go like this. They go. It's like a like a AI. Oh, okay. They're like this. They go like this. And you send like if you sent me like an ice cream, I'd go, mmm, ice cream, my favorite. Oh, I love you send me chicken. ice cream. Mmm, yeah. delicious. And every and time just, you send me ice cream, motioning. Every time you sent me ice cream, it would be the same reaction. Yeah. Every time. So I'd have a certain thing for each one. So say we do the chicken one, and we come back to ice cream, and I say, mmm, ice cream, my favorite. And then next time we go through watermelon, whatever, and then you give me ice cream again, mmm, mm. ice cream, my favorite. What's the point like you, of this? Oh, thank you, pretend, baby. Oh. They pretend to thank be, you. Uh, people yeah. just send them all these gifts, and they, and they just, just make money. Like Brian, yeah. It's like what Brian does. Brian, like if they send him a... I was with him one time in New York, and if they send him a cowboy hat, he goes, yeehaw. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeehaw. Yeah. They just yeehaw. react to it. I'm like, it's crazy. you're such a moron. Mm, well, they're making, and they're, making, they're making buku bucks right now. Really? Ice cream, my yeah. favorite. Hey, have you seen, the, have you seen the, the guy in the hood that does it? He's like, bang, bang, shawty. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hey, thug love, appreciate you. you. Basically, just they send you emojis. And you and react off the emojis, what, and, but you have to mm. repeat. You know, you have to. So it's almost like the same thing. Like you have to be a robot. Emojis. Like you have, Basically, you have to answer yeah. everything the same. You can't change it. Really, yeah. what happens if you change mm, it? They do roses. Mad. You start losing. Listen, no, it just you just you're not, and then you break character. I mean, yeah. sometimes you break character. It's funny, yeah. but it's so stupid. And people just talk about how dumb it is while they send them stuff. Yeah. That's but they make buku books, and they're making stupid money right now. Mad money. That makes me just. I was talking. I had to talk to a Ice guy cream. about a uh, potential uh, opportunity, mm. and Chicken. I had taken mm. I had taken Garrison to his appointment, and I was sitting out in the car, and mm-hmm. I'm talking to this guy. My big opportunity, big opportunity. Mm-hmm. Talking mm-hmm. to this guy, big and opportunity. This woman, this woman comes up to my car and knocks on the window. Big and opportunity. I hold my I hold my phone up, and I'm like, I'm on, I'm on the phone, and she's like, and I'm like. What? And she, I said, I'm on the phone. And she's like, and I go, and I like, I pressed a button, open the door, and she looks at me and she goes, How do you open your doors? And I go, What? She goes, How do you open your doors? I said, I'm on the phone. And she goes, I'm just wondering how you open your doors. And for people that don't know, I have a Tesla. And so I just reach around Rackers. and push it. And I push it. <laughs> wow. But I had, wow. how, would you, how would you understand this story if you didn't know I had, so I had flex? Yeah. You could have said my my handles are hard to find. <laughs> right? like, what? Sometimes like, you can't. For y'all see that my don't handles. know, I got a Tesla. Back I to my story. <laughs> so Patrick's back the to guy in high school is like to Patrick, Patrick's like uh, he I have a Honda. basketball. I had sex last night. You guys <laughs> know, have some dinner tonight? Oh yeah, I did. Of course, okay. I did. yeah, it was okay. It was but good. I did, and you did not. But you, but yeah. So, flexor. so I, I press it. So the mm, handle comes subtle. out. It's like, oh! And I shut the door. And she walks to the car next to me. And she's like, "You just press the handle. You just press the handle to the woman in the car." And I was like, oh, what, "So what somebody she happened? sent? Oh, somebody sent her to ask you 
Yeah. How to open I, they scoping you out, bro. But that made me uh, think. The reason I thought about that was I was thinking so, about cause. what if you're what if you're in your car doing that TikTok and you're like, ooh, ice cream, so mm-hmm. good. Perfectly normal. Ooh, chicken. And somebody knocks on your door and is like, hey, you got a light? And you're like, ooh, ice cream. Yeah, you, you tell them to hold on. Ooh, you're all, chicken. hold on one second. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, ooh, yum, thank you. Yum. <laughs> mm. yum. That's what made me think. Ride them, cowboy. Thanks. Chicken. Yum. Mm, my yee-haw. favorite. Yee-haw. Ride them, cowboy. Thanks. <laughs> You make the f- the food like you make the crunch sound. If you guys ever decide to do that, just let me know. <laughs> I make buku bucks. I'm How do you make money can... though? People just people send you gifts. Or people they send you, send you money. gifts. They send you gifts so, and money throughout the whole insane, thing. Dude. Yeah, that's one crazy. rose is one cent. Yeah, and then there's there's stuff that's five cents, ten cents, two hundred cents. Like it's you all just, in coins. That's coins wild. And like the most, yeah. the more elaborate stuff is the more you pay the more. Yeah, like you can get like much. galaxies and they just stuff want like more. That. They just People want more. Are fools though. What are we they, doing? They pay for it. World, hey, what are we doing? It's time for the aliens. That's that's what it is. It's time for the aliens. Yeah. Yep. I hope the aliens have to have TikTok. Hey, and probably like these guys are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Look what this we made. Gonna be this gonna be easy as kink. Yeah. <laughs> Watch. Would you like to have a group meeting? We'll be every able to Monday. take over like, the earth in four fork nors. What can we make these idiots do this week? <laughs> they're gonna establish a TikTok account, and they're gonna be like, <laughs> "We'll just take over the world through TikTok." We should. <laughs> we should open a TikTok. Like dancers, posing mm, as the aliens, bro, so good. and just fool hard. everybody. We Hello, world. It. You thought we were fake? Mm. Ah, jokes on you. <laughs> we're all. That's all, that's all I got, guys. That's all I got. Thanks, my you, man. I think that'd be so funny. I can make my oh, eyes go. Right, I'm wrong. Oh, my God, my God Patrick Stoppi. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be the alien NPCs, Joel. <laughs> yeah. Take me to your leader. <laughs> oh, ice cream. I can't eat it. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> my body can't absorb ice cream. <laughs> oh, beef. Only raw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beef human takeover. Raw. Take me to your leader. Not that one. <laughs> Dude. Man, I would hope the that they would call in. me oh they would call God. me and say, Listen, listen, Joel. Joe Biden can't do it. We need you. <laughs> Come be the representative. I say You'll have listen, to be uh, Joel Biden. I say, Listen, I'll Joel be Biden. him. I'll be Joe Biden. <laughs> I'll say, Hey man. They would be they would be happy to meet me and I would make them mm. laugh. Yeah. And I'll figure out what makes aliens laugh, and they'll go, "What is this feeling?" And I'll say, "Gotcha." You That's know, like, and they'll joy. be like, "Wow!" Welcome. Welcome. I say, yeah, "Joe King." Yeah. I'll say, "Joe King just gotcha." Just gotcha. Hey, you this know what you tell them? They don't hey, let us do anymore. I'm just Joe. I say, "Hey, that was hey, that was a, that was a shot from just Joe," and they go, "Wow, I'm just Joe." <laughs> <laughs> so, please tell me it, there are more like you. I think I'm going to write a movie where this There's comedian, two. Joel, saves the day by making the aliens laugh there at a live go. show he does after being captured. There he convinces go. them. He says, listen, let me try. If I can make y'all laugh, you let us go. Do it. You know what I'm saying? You let Earth go. And Do it's, it. It's a battle. I like it. How can he, And I'm in prison with this other alien. He's like, I'll teach you what makes them laugh. <laughs> And he gets killed when they find out he's been teaching me. And you're him. And oh, thanks. Pat's the murderer. <laughs> Pat's the prison guard, and he kills him. And he just kills you. That's me. So then, you know. I get shot at get Remember everything I told you. Exactly. And I think that that's great. And you'll be like, no. I say that every time we hang up. I make them laugh no matter what it takes. And and that is the that is the the premise. When you die, I surrender myself to the aliens. I say, take go. me now. It's time for the show. Shows me in the mirror, practicing faces like like the uh, monologue from Eight Mile. Dun, dun, no, it's dun, like yeah, dun, exactly. Dun, dun, Today's the day. Dun, 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 I step dun, to the plate dun, 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 and make dun, these grays dun, 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 feel me. <laughs> make these grays. You know. And I said. Uh, <laughs> Right when I got up there, I said, I got up there, here's how I opened my set. I said, can I ask you guys a question? They'll say, what? I said, why are you gray? <laughs> <laughs> you are gray. 
<laughs> Why are you gray? <laughs> Is it a gray alien? You know. Why are you gray? <laughs> gray? <laughs> you gray? <laughs> That's so funny. Why are you gray? <laughs> uh, why are you gray? And they'll say, what? Oh, man. We're not gray. You are uh, gray. You are gray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are gray. You are gray. Oh, no. you are gray. You are not gray. <laughs> you are gray. <laughs> my, first, my first guest <laughs> and my first question to you, why are you gray? Are you gray? <laughs> We're not gray. We're not gray. You are gray. You are gray. We're, uh, we're a light blue. Light blue. <laughs> oh, so That's gracious towards aliens. You think that would make them laugh? I think oh, it would. I think it would make, make me laugh. Hard. Like if they knew that TikTok, they'd be like, oh, he just, he's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> You killed tonight. Your planet, your planet's safe. And I'll go, Cowbunga, dude. Cowbunga. Cowbunga. Now in the movie. Radical. Yeah. That's radical. And they'll be like, dang, how did this comedian save the world? We're here with a comedian, Joel Rams, who just saved the entire planet from invasion. Tell us how you did it. I did it for you. <laughs> For you. What was the joke that you think took us over the top? <laughs> One question. Why are you gray? <laughs> Why are you gray? You are gray. <laughs> I didn't have to go any further. It stopped right it. there. Just bang. They're just like, Man, I'm good. That's it. Got me. Yep. Worthy. Oh, and man. like, I have, I, the whole time I was going to start with something else, and last second, bam. I'm like, boom, it's off the top. It's simple. Trust yourself. I heard you in my head. I heard you in my head. You go, yeah. trust, trust your yourself. Yourself. Yeah. yourself. And I said, I just got one question for you guys. Why are you gray? <laughs> <laughs> we are not gray. You are gray. You are gray. In my oh, world, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're killing it. <laughs> you're killing it. <laughs> uh, uh, I can't breathe. <laughs> this guy is yeah. hilarious. I just pooped That's my so pants. Funny. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> Call back. Call I, back. I just floor ignore myself. That's the end Man. of the set right there. That's the end of the set. <laughs> I can't believe I exposed my poo poo. <laughs> well, hey, I listen. Our listeners hey, and me listen, and Nick appreciate your open and we honest. We are. This is a <clears throat> cleansing podcast. We are. We are. Yeah. We are allowed to be vulnerable. That's real. And that's show real. That's that true. Three, that's true. three rad dudes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're human. Yeah, we are. That's human. right. That's right. That's right. That's things that's happen, right. That's right. man. There's no maybe. Need to be maybe we're human. That's maybe. right. Hold on, let me flutter my yeah, eye. That is so right. My I got to tell you guys. You know, I work in Charlotte yep. all the time. And there's a lot of people that walk around, a lot of homeless people. True. And there's a lot of people that drive around. And people are different out there. Um, today, yep. this guy was driving with his passenger door open. Hmm. I was like, dang, that's odd. Like, the dude was holding it like this. Not dangerous at all. And it was open, like open, like open. Yeah. He could fall out. And I hope he had a seatbelt on. And then I look over, and this dude's driving in his whitey tiny chonies. Oh, no man. shirt, no pants, just oh. undies. I don't know if he had socks oh. on, but he looks over. He has sunglasses, and he goes, "Hmm." And I said, "Hmm." And I just drove forward. It's nonchalant. Like that, huh? it, never in my that, it, never Joe in my Charlotte. life thirty nine thirty nine years life True. have I ever seen somebody just driving around in chone dogs. <laughs> have you ever drove around in chone dogs? I think I've driven around, around with my shirt off a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Definitely. for a joke I have. That's probably, it would, probably was a joke. It probably was a been. joke. Because I don't think there's somebody who just... And he had rap music blaring. I don't think people were just like, man, I'm getting in my chone dogs and just going to the I mean, Harris Teeter. I'll get dressed when I get there. Hey, he might have just got stoned. So, you know, maybe. Mm-hmm. Might have to run out quick. Maybe he had to air it out. <laughs> He's all, I, it was worth it. It was worth it. I dog, sometimes you just gotta air it out. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes so it'd be, it be thick. Sometimes you know what I'm saying? I had That's to air so that out. I don't. I don't plan for the exit. I plan for the get there. That's right. Hey, say what? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna let all the homies Preach. know what it was. 
Preach. You know, shoot. Well, man, we're we're at towards the end. We've had such a good time talking about all the we good got, yeah, stuff. Yeah, we got one more thing to cover. Joel's got a boo-boo. Uh, yeah, I'll just Make tell you guys a quick story. I ain't got a stitches. Yeah. It was, um, I was working stitches? a four, mm-hmm. and I was in there, and we were pulling some wires, you know, and this dude pulled when I wasn't ready, because he shouldn't have pulled yet. We were mm-hmm. still adjusting. And he pulled, and I had gloves on and everything, and it, when he did, you know, a lot of pipes, when they're connected, have couplings, right? And yeah. it's like mm-hmm. where they connect. And so it, like my finger, goosh, like, like, mm. goosh, like Ooh. pressure, like the amount of pressure, and it ripped the glove, mm. and God it pulled, bless. pulled the, the meat apart. back, mm. pulled the meat back, the meat was and back. Um, they said, hey, we're gonna give you some stitches, and they gave me some crib stitches, some blue ones. Mm. So it's the only ones they did better you freak give. out. You know, no, I did not. It started bleeding. Uh, you know, here's the thing. So when it hit my glove, I was like, dang, that hurt. But I looked at my glove and it didn't look ripped. So I thought, oh, no big deal. It probably just freaking hurt. Like, ow. Yeah. Like, that's going to be a bruise. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it, like, just bruised my skin. So then I took off the glove just to look at it. And as I took off the glove, it was just blood pouring out. And I was like, dang. I was like, dang. God. And I was like, I kept it in the glove like this. Like, I kept it over the glove. Like, holding mm-hmm. the glove. Yeah. I had a glove on this hand. Yeah. But I had just peeled this glove off. Mm-hmm. And I was looking at it. I was like, damn. And I didn't want to look at it because I didn't want to see, like, bone or nothing like that. That would make gross. Yeah. But I was, I was cool, dude. I was like, dang. So Wait I a minute. To the bathroom. You tell him you went 600 to the bone? I, someone was trying to get my marrow. Someone like, was trying finger. to get the marrow. <laughs> I said, get my finger back. <laughs> so, like, I went straight to the bathroom. Not today. Dri- and it's today. dripping. You know, it's dripping. And, like, yeah. you know, drip, like, out your finger, it pours. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've it's been like there. you hold it up, so oh. it's like pouring out. And I'm going, I'm going to go to the bathroom, kind of goes, and I wash it a little bit, and I look at it, like, dang, that's big. Still yeah. like, That's bad. Oh, that's bad. That sucks. And so I took, like, a paper towel and just, like, put a lot of pressure on it. And I called my boss, like, hey, dude, I'm going, I got to go to the ER or something. I got to go just get it checked out because I was like, this is a pretty bad cut and it's bleeding all over the place. And he's like, oh, yeah, go ahead, go. And so I went and to the VA. They sent me to the um, urgent care <clears throat> and they sewed me up. Sewed him up. Is that a worker's call? Yeah, I didn't have to pay anything. Mm. Yeah. Is it an OSHA recordable? I had my gloves on. Mm. Mm. There you go. He did everything no. right. It's just no a lost time. Nice. No OSHA recordables. Nice. Yep. And well I did done. everything proper. I had PPE, which is what you're supposed to do. And mm-hmm. I, and it was just the bad timing. And it was just, I guess, the amount of pressure yeah. Yeah. from when it I mean, hit. Because I wasn't, it just like, and it just. Like, you it, do that it, kind of work. It, I mean, shit, stuff's going to happen. For sure. I'm just glad I had gloves on, though, to be honest Me with you. Too. I think if I, yeah. if I, if it was just skin, I think it would have went down to my bones. Oh, it would have, it would have went to your marrow. That would have, that would have freaked me out, probably. I mean, I mean, been like, how many times oh. have you gotten stitches in your life? Uh, one, two, I've had it in my head. I mm-hmm. had it on my finger now. I had it on my leg and I had it on my foot. Mm. Gotcha. So you're, your season. Your season. Butterfly stitches. Butterfly on I've top had, of my head. I've had stitches. From riding around the sandbox. Oh, you can see it. Yeah. This right yeah. here. Nice. Yeah. Right here and right yeah. here. Mosh. Wrestling I scars. Which is right across here. This golf ball. Right Did across you? What that yeah. Is. yeah. Yeah. I fell down the stairs and I was like eight. Dang. Oh, that's you remember how uh, speakers used to be like the tall speakers that had the real sharp yeah, corners? 15, yeah, I fell on the yeah, stairs. Yeah, yeah I fell on the would. stairs and mm-hmm. hit but my nose hit right the across. Speaker? Right across the speaker, yeah. Right across the top. God. Split Dang. it open. They split it open real bad. These, these two. <laughs> these, two oh, <laughs> these two were golf balls. Oh. Dang. That was, oh, Is that, that was what you call fighting? them? Is that what you guys call them? Oh, okay. yeah. This one, hey, this, one were, was, uh, yeah. this one was putt These putt. were Johnny's golf balls. A kid was trying to be top golf when I was little at the putt-putt mm-hmm. course. And then this one I hit, and it came back and hit me in the face. I say, dude, what kind yeah. of golfing are you doing? That's extreme golfing right there. Hey, I've I got one question. Three, three golf Patrick, balls. Patrick, why, why are you gray? <laughs> why are you gray? <laughs> why are you gray? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's what, that was the funny joke. That, that is the, funny. hey, that is the that new is a, phrase that is a funny joke. That's the new phrase. That's funny. Yeah. Nice. Well, man, we've had a great time of the podcast. As always, <laughs> once again, we forgot the intro. I think this is like the fourth Three. podcast in a row where we have completely oh, man. skipped over the we intro. Jumped, we, jumped in, we jumped in heavy. We, we dive in head first around here. Okay. It's like diving in the deep end. We know right? who we are. We know who he is. And y'all should know who we are. But if not, we apologize. Yeah. This is the Tuesday podcast. I'm Joel. Joel Patrick, and then I'm uh, uh, Nick Clemency. 
Uh, so glad to have you guys. If it's your first time catching up with us, this is how we do things. It's just kind of a freestyle, loosey goosey, open forum type podcast. And so we, we ask you that you would join us. It's the summertime. We want to go with you. We want to travel. Take us everywhere you go. Listen to us. You'll have a great time listening to us. Let us know how you feel. Put us in your pocket. Put us in your pocket. All right. We want to go with you. Uh, this is the part of the show where we move into our shameless plugs. Normally, I let these two fellas start, but I'm going to start today because I just Let's I just do. feel like it. So with me, Gray. that's right. All right. You can catch me Gray. on uh, Instagram at Rick Dynasty one uh, you can catch me on Twitter at uh, the real Juan Hogan, and then you can catch me on TikTok at Nick Clemency Comedy. And with that, I'm going to pass it over to Joel. I uh, I had a great time today. I thought it was super funny. Um, I really enjoyed the uh, Alien Talk. I think we kind of took a right turn on my accord by accident. I didn't no. think where we were going with the conversation. Oh. Um, the political oh, stuff. I, I wasn't even trying to go there. I just thought it was funny. And then, but I think we transitioned well. But. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys can find me on TikTok. Um, I think it's under at P O U Joel. That's it. And uh, or Jing Shame, and you can look me up um, on Instagram. I think it's uh, your Joel Jinx. Jinx. And uh, check us out, man. You know, Please. check out Tuesday. Subscribe. Listen to what we got going on. Have a good time. And you know, we we keep it clean. We we do keep it, you know, age appropriate for who sure. we are. Sure. And I think we do well about balancing it. So have a listen. You know, don't be afraid to put us on. You know, if there's other, you know, if there's, you know, teenagers around or you know, it. And that's you the know. goal is that you can listen to us on the move Absolutely. and go to the grocery store and not have to worry about turning it off anywhere, anywhere the gym. everywhere, anywhere. Yeah. Patrick, you're up, sir. As always, uh, at Tuesday on all social right. media, uh, YouTube.com backslash Tuesday. Uh, C-H-W-S-D-Y If you are watching this on our YouTube Make sure you hit that like and subscribe And notification button And if you are listening to us on Spotify Follow up Oh, ice cream, so good Mmm, Tuesday, num 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 mm. Yum, so yummy uh, Yeah, and uh, Tuesday Patrick On Instagram And I will challenge you That every day when you wake up in the morning in order to make sure you stay true to yourself, you ask yourself one question. You know what that question is? Yep. Why are you doing it? <laughs>